Our next award category is Agribusiness Food and Beverages. This award is for outstanding international success in the field of agricultural products, services or technology, including farm production, manufactured foods, beverages, forestry and fisheries. Uh, to present the award is Lee and Kuby, the Senior Trade Specialist with the Commonwealth Bank of Australia who are a silver sponsor and have been sponsors of the Australian Export Awards for 34 years running. That's a, a great commitment. Thank you to the Commonwealth Bank. Before we invite Lee on stage, let's meet this year's Agribusiness Food and Beverage finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be here tonight to present the Agribusiness Food and Beverages Award on behalf of the Commonwealth Bank of Australia. We at Commonwealth Bank, we have been supporting the agribusiness and beverages industries for the past um, 100 years, and we continue to support our farmers each and every day. To us, this prestigious award represents international excellence, the very top in the field of agricultural pro products, services, or technologies, including farm production, manufactured food, foods and beverages, as well as forestry and fisheries. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the winner of the 2023 Agribusiness Food and Beverage Award is Sunrise. <laughs> Good evening, distinguished guests, dignitaries, fellow exporters, and ladies and gentlemen. As the CEO of our global rice business, it is an absolute privilege to accept this award on behalf of the team of Sunrise tonight. Firstly, I'd like to congratulate all of the other finalists in the category and to thank Austrade for recognising us with this esteemed award. Our business started over 70 years ago and it's now grown to be a $1.6 billion ASX-listed rice company. We sell more than 1,500 products under 35 brands into over 50 countries and counting. It now includes the UK. Thank you to Minister Farrell and his team for all the hard work on the UK FDA. As a business, we make a significant contribution to the Southern Murray-Darling Basin, where we employ over 650 employees and inject $500 million in direct payments into the um, basin communities. With the recent announcement by the federal government on water reform and water buybacks, we hope that our industry can continue to thrive and remain viable, and that we remain an exporter of premium rice right around the world for many years to come. This award is a huge honour, and it really is a testament to the hard work of our team around the world, our world-class growers, who are amongst the most efficient in the world, and everyone else that's contributed to Sunrise being the company that we are today. Thank you again to Austrade, the team at Export Council of Australia for encouraging us to enter, and all of the sponsors that make it, this event happen tonight. Thank you very much. Oh, congratulations. Driest country in the world, and we export rice. They talk about coals to Newcastle, we export rice to Asia. How good are our growers in terms of being globally competitive? It's extraordinary what you do. Yeah, I mean, we deal with 600 growers uh, in the Riverina region uh, in an average year, and they really are world class. They deliver the highest yields out of any rice producing country around the world, and they're also one of the most water efficient. So, very, very proud uh, to be growing Australian rice and exporting it not just to Asia, but also into the Middle East, the US, the UK, Europe, and many, many other markets. First award since 1969. <laughs> uh, when you won your first one, great to have you back. Congratulations. Thanks,